Hey guys, welcome back to another journal with me. This is going to be my last journal with me in my December journal. This is going to be the week of Christmas and leading right up into January. So we don't really do anything for New Year's Eve or New Year's Day, which is why that's not going to be really like worth documenting just because um, we, you know, we just don't really do anything. We enjoy each other in the living room and we just enjoy whatever's on TV, um, play some games, you know, with Hannah. Selena's working if she feels up to it. Um, it is currently December 30th when I'm um, editing this and she's not feeling too well, so I'm not sure whether she's going to be working or not, but um, my point is we just don't really do anything spectacular that would be, you know, picture worthy other than just hanging out with family. And I take pictures all the time, so that is not going to be like a big spread or anything in my junk journal. So I have got um, little bits and bobs here. I've got um, things that Hannah has made me from my advent calendar. We um, finished that up. I've got the rest of my Christmas paper um, that I need to finish um, using up and then I will be putting it away for the year. I've got, I think I see a receipt in there from PetSmart. We went to PetSmart and bought Maya, the little guinea pig. Um, she got a bag of hay and uh, she got a little uh, like a, a little ball made out of hay because she loves batting it around. And then I went really heavy on the pictures. So that's going to be like my main focus for this journaling session is going to be pictures just because, you know, it's Christmas time and you got to have tons of pictures for Christmas time. So I will just kind of explain what pictures I'm putting in and what I thought was important to put in there to just give you an idea of some of the things that I put in my junk journal this time. And I will give you some music and talk you through it. So I'm starting with some pictures here of me and Hannah in the kitchen when we made Christmas cookies. So <laughs> we really had a lot of fun doing that. We made some gluten-free, dairy-free Christmas cookies because Hannah's gluten-free and dairy-free. And to be honest, they were okay. <laughs> they kind of had a really sandy texture because if you know anything about gluten-free, you'll know that anything that's gluten-free is really gritty because the gluten is what gives it like that um, real chewy texture and when you take the gluten out it just becomes really sandy <laughs> so we referred to them as the sandy cookies but I mean they were pretty good for being gluten-free dairy-free anyway we had tons of fun and so um, I just took some you know selfies and then I wrote like a couple of the things that happened on the other side, a couple of the like things we laughed at. I made sure and wrote those down so we can remember those when we look back at this journal. It was really fun. Like we were cracking up the whole time. So it was real fun.
this is where I was telling you I was writing the story about the funny things that we were saying while we were baking cookies. Um, to sum it up, one of the gingerbread men lost a leg, and so I cut his leg off, and um, I... Hannah was like, what are you doing? I'm like, he lost his leg. And so we baked it that way. And she was like, he can't have no leg. And I'm like, he lost his leg in the great reindeer accident of 2019. And we were cracking up and making jokes. And I'm sorry if anybody's lost their leg. It's not funny. But this was a gingerbread man cookie. And it was funny. So we were laughing a lot. <laughs> This is Hannah being good Benny, guinea pig sister she is. She's sharing a strawberry popsicle with her guinea pig sis. And before anybody gets on me, this guinea pig is nine years old. So yes, the guinea pig gets a couple licks of a strawberry popsicle. That's the only like non, you know, nutritious food that the guinea pig gets. The only other stuff that the guinea pig gets is fruits, vegetables, and hay and pellets. But every once in a while, we let the nine-year-old guinea pig get a couple licks of a fruit popsicle because after nine years, mm -hmm, lifespan's only five to seven. So we let her have that. This was just a little door from Hannah's um, Christmas Advent calendar, and I thought it was really cute, so I just included it in here. What I did with the rest of the pictures is I just divided them up into Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And now I'm just trying to go through all my Christmas Eve pictures and put them kind of in the order of the day because that's how I wanted them to go in my journal. You don't have to be specific like that. Again, like I said in my last junk journal that I did, you don't even have to go in order. All I did was take this picture of Hannah. She was so cute. She made Maya her own little Christmas quote unquote cookies. So what she did was she took a piece of red bell pepper, she mashed up banana on it for frosting, and then she cubed up cucumbers for sprinkles and made Christmas cookies. They're guinea pig Christmas cookies. She is so sweet. And so she gave those to her on Christmas Eve. Those are guinea pig friendly Christmas cookies. So I took a picture of that and I put it down and then I wrote about it on the next page. And then you'll see me do um, are just our tradition of we always watch the National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation while everybody's awake and then after everybody goes to bed and all of our elf duties are done William and I we sit down and watch Die Hard because that is a Christmas movie if you guys do not agree with me then don't comment in the comments below but if you agree with me and you agree that Die Hard is a Christmas movie, then 
let me know in the comments below that you agree with me. But if you don't agree with me, then just keep it to yourself because you're wrong. It's, it's a Christmas movie. It happened at a Christmas party. Therefore, there was a Christmas tree in it. There was Santa Claus in it. It was a Christmas movie. Just saying. So I wanted to document those. So I went ahead and put those in. And then I moved to Christmas morning.
This is my favorite picture ever. This is Hannah's reaction to her opening her iPhone that she finally got this year. And the reason that she was so surprised is because we convinced her that she wasn't getting one. I was like, no 10 year old's getting an iPhone. When in all actuality, I don't really believe that every 10 year old should get an iPhone. Um, but she is at the point where she's kind of separating herself from me a little bit now. And so we don't have a landline and there are times where I run right up the road to the post office and she is capable of staying here at the house, but she does need a phone. So we did surprise her and she was shocked, shocked, shook all the emotions. So that was like my favorite picture. And then this is another one of my favorite pictures of Selena because I finally got her to smile. She was mean mugging all morning because, you know, she's 18 and she doesn't like to be woken up early. And so she was mean mugging all morning. And then finally, I, I think I said something really funny. Um, I probably called her a heifer or something because <laughs> that's how we get each other to laugh is by calling each other mean names. Um, so that's probably why she laughed at me finally. Um, so I finally got her to smile and she has the world's cutest smile ever. She's my precious girl. So I am going to finish putting these Christmas pictures in here. And that is it for my December junk journal. I am going to file this away. Um, I would like to get one of those photo boxes that they sell at Tuesday mornings or Michael's or Hobby Lobby, something like that. I wonder if a 5x7, because these are 5x7s, I wonder if a 5x7 junk journal will fit in there. Um, I'm going to have to check that out. But that is my plan to file these um, one right after another and at the end of the year just have this beautiful set of memories. So I'm excited about January's. I kind of have an idea in my mind of what I want January's junk journal to look like. And January's junk journal is going to be super fun because I've got the cruise coming up with my dad that I'm going to be putting in it. And I'm sure we'll have plenty of other memories that I'll love putting in it too. I am so glad that I decided to do this junk journaling because I never realized how many moments that you take like pictures of or you just, you know, like I said, you take little scraps of paper that your kids give you or that, um, you know, a receipt and you want to remember that moment, but you don't know where to put that. There's really like, what are you going to do? Hang a receipt or hang a napkin on your refrigerator? No, really the only place for those is a junk journal because then you get to incorporate all of those little things, tags, um, like I said, an envelope from last week, um, last week's junk journal, little things like that where it's not something that you're gonna feature on your refrigerator. It's not something that you're going to put, um, you know, on your wall, but you do wanna remember it and you do wanna keep it. And that's what the junk journal is for. So I'm going to stop chatting and I am going to close this video up and please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Stay tuned for more junk journaling with chaotic mom in 2020.
family know me or what? Look at this Christmas wine glass they got me. It's actually not a Christmas wine glass. It's just a wine glass they got me for Christmas. It says I pair well with wine. I really do. I really, really do pair well with wine, guys. This just goes to show you how spoiled our animals really are. This is Maya eating a banana that she got in her stocking. Yep, Maya got a banana in her stocking. Spoil piggy. Like I said, I hope you guys join me for junk journaling in 2020. If you need a junk journal, I always have them in my Etsy store. They are five by sevens and I have them for $7 plus shipping. I have all different sorts of um, seasonals. I have different um, collections from pages that I, paper pads that I've got. If you have something particular in mind, you're more than welcome to direct message me and we can talk about if I have that page, if I have, you know, access to get that paper, things like that. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video. I hope that you guys have a very nice new year. I hope that you have a very safe, happy New Year's Eve and the start of a great new year. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.